There was Barry Hopkins, wasn't there? Yeah. yeah. Like, he did, he wrote a book on shades. Yeah. <laughs> Barry Hopkins? It sounds about right. Yeah, TV presenter. Yeah. They have okay. blonde, blonde hair glasses. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so how, how do you know Barry Hopkins? Oh, through exhibitions and through the WSA. So how long have you known Barry? Oh, probably about five, six years, seven years. Uh, the large work, the Lost in the Gardens of the Pink Narcissus. So what, do you, what is it that you think that um, attracted Barry to that work? It's on special. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, probably the uh, one of the, I suppose, the more explicit one would be Fanta Pants. Can you tell us a bit about Fanta Pants? Uh, the character in the painting, uh, William, which the public named, uh, basically took his pants off. <laughs> so full frontal. <laughs> No, no, it's, it is it is stylized, and you know there is glitter. So I use glitter for the hair. Yeah. And how well do you feel this fits into Barry's collection? Um, I I don't know. I have not seen Barry's collection, but as you said, it yet would probably stand out. <laughs> oh, other than eccentric, um, I don't know. That's a horrible question. No, that's a, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a mean question, eh? Yeah. And right behind your chair, there's a free Barry Hopkins collection book. Do you want me to do a Tom Cruise and jump yeah, up yeah, and okay, down? Yeah, yeah, okay. I I know, I, I, I shaved Barry. I shaved, I, I had a first... Uh, I'm more mysterious, I've got to bring up that. <laughs> I was at Ray, he, Ray Hammond's tonguey and I know he used to shave, dress, karakia, early morning, do his art. He approached it very formally. What was the question? Yes, it was funny. Just it was nice. what you, what? I, I actually liked it before. I thought it was quite nice with the back there. Mm -hmm. I perched on a twig, you see. Nice different stance, eh? Hey? Mm. Back there. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. good. Sorry, Joe. That's all right. I don't mind. Yeah, that's cold. Okay. So, Joe, you, you're an artist, obviously. Yes. How long have you been painting? Oh, for goodness sake. I don't know. I don't know when time. I started. <laughs> <laughs> it's even funnier. <laughs> we go around an exhibition together, yes, and, and Barry says yes, or no. <laughs> Can you tell us a bit about Barry's personality and his character? <laughs> That's a mean question. Yeah. I'm sorry. What, you rat? <laughs> It's uh, not the sort of thing yeah, I do normally at all. So, yeah, it's good to go. Okay, Barry, why did you buy that blinking roo roo? Because I liked it. <laughs> there you go. I mean, I'm very fond of them and I listen to them at night. Yes. And I thought having one like that was. Uh, yes, with its eyes watching. Was you. really rather nice to have. Is it typical of your buying practice? Is it typical for you? Uh, no. Normally, yeah. Uh, Normally it doesn't get down as close as to something like that. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I'd hate you to uh, apply the same sort of logic to my buying Fanta pants, for example. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> yes, mean, but that, that amused you, though. Yes, and it was a oh. case, you see. I was, I was given the opportunity of um, providing William with the part of, that was always missing. <laughs> I mean, he'd always been chopped out of the, chopped out of the image, or he had a neat pair of boxer shorts. Nice. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> okay. <coughs> Why well, I'm a solidarity. So where do I look? Yeah. Yeah, just a minute.
<laughs> if I start to talk about the Wananga, we'd still be here at 5 p.m. Yes, I know. <laughs> Thank you so much for being the fabulous. This is alright, but I'm very shy. Oh, it's alright. <laughs> I can't right. talk. It's alright. No, you just be yourself. Honestly, we're just having a conversation. <laughs> right. So, well, shall I start? Um, okay, I'm just going to start. Well, okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for being here. The one that really okay. does stand out is the possum one. <laughs> you have gardeners. <laughs> Um, Actually, it's, it's very intriguing. It's a fox, not a possum. Ah, oh, heavens. Stop! It's a fox. Where can you even hear? Because of its tail. Ah. Oh. No, 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 I've never seen one. <laughs> have you seen a live one? But You're you not filming, are you? You would remember that women used to wear them draped over them. Yes. And uh, this is made out of a a woman's fox fur with human teeth in the mouth. I can remember various aunts and things wearing things like that in my childhood. So it's, <laughs> a, it's, <laughs> such, a, it's such a surprise to see this, this um, yes, fox kind of staring out at you, out of a picture frame. You know, it's very different. <laughs> So Barry, when did you actually start collecting? At what age? About the late, late 50s, probably around about 1958. How old were you? I was probably about 16, 17. Do you think that's kind of a different pastime for someone to start collecting at age 16? Oh, I don't know. I mean, uh, many children collect things madly. It was just a matter of what I chose to collect. And, and what was the first work that you purchased? Uh, there's some dissension here. I mean, it might come through to that uh, marine painting of Abel Tabs, Tasman of Three Kings, or it might be one of the first smothers I bought, or perhaps a Macan. A Macan? Yes, and, it was very early too. And how much would you pay for something like that at that stage? I think the Macan still has its price on the back. And I think it was, I think it was 49 guineas. You can work out what a guinea is. What, what kind of criteria did you use to start selecting works? And, oh, and has it changed? I don't think I ever went through a process like that. I never, I never sort of weighed up and thought, oh, well, it's this, 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 and this. I mean, it just doesn't happen that way. You either want it or you don't. And usually it has to get, I, I feel it has to get to the stage that you feel your life would pretty be severely blighted if you didn't own it. It's got to be as positive as that. Otherwise, you're better off uh, leaving it alone. Very keen on the uh, Gordon Walters I've already mentioned, and I like some of these sort of um, slightly obscured women artists that seem to have fallen by the wayside today. People like Frieda Simmons and Lois MacIver, and um, Alison Pickney is another. Not comparing it to other collections, what's defining for you about it? What I think when seen together, it will show that um, all the images are really remarkably positive. I recall from the collection, uh, Boy Eating Tanifa, how would you describe your sense of humour? Yes. Tanifa is eating the boy, actually. Well, that's right. <laughs> 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 uh, that was that was made by an extremely elderly Maori man who coached wrestling and boxing in the YMI Institute in Te Aumutu. And he did these at home for his own enjoyment and with absolute sincerity. And uh, he described it to me as that's what happens to naughty boys when they don't do what their parents tell them. Whether he was able to chastise his own children using a tanny bar, I'm not quite certain.